My name is Jocelyn uh, Yelsma and I have been living in Rwanda the last three and a half years. Uh, I've been working in Nyabi Sindhu for the last two years. Uh, we started off with community health evangelism projects and working with this local community here. Between 30 and 50 women that come every week here for uh, prenatal care, postpartum care, and we're very blessed to have a woman working with us who does ultrasounds. When we come every Tuesday morning, we're here from about 9 o'clock in the morning until 3.30, and we're working with women the entire time. So women come for the, for the first part, they register, and then we have a worship time and a prayer time with the women. And then after that, we have a teaching time and we go through a rotation of eight or nine topics ranging from how to eat healthfully at the beginning of their pregnancy and maintain a good diet throughout their pregnancy with the local resources that they have and uh, moving into how the baby develops, into labor and delivery, um, into the before labor and delivery, the common complaints women have physically with their bodies during, during pregnancy and then on into postpartum and breastfeeding and how to look after your baby the first six weeks. After they have the teaching time, then we start seeing women for antenatal care. So we're listening to the baby, we're measuring how the baby is growing on the inside of the, on, on the, inside of the mother by measuring the outside. These women often come with more complicated cases. They're coming from a more difficult social setting. And so to access quality care for these women um, is a little more difficult. They, they need help. In Nyabi Sindhu, women are walking to Kimironko Health Center and walking to Kibagabaga Hospital, but both of those places are operating at full capacity and then some. We're seeing women antenatally and so we're doing everything we can to help them prepare for delivery and be able to birth normally. Um, that being said, we have some complicated cases here. Uh, women who um, are HIV positive, women who are um, who have some high blood pressure, some complicated cases. One of the key differences between going to one of those places and coming to the Health and Wellness Center is that they're coming into a Christ-honoring environment and a place where we are speaking, you are valuable to God, you matter, your baby matters, we care about you. We, we just want to offer an experience for them where they are respected, they are received with care, and they are loved on by Christian workers who love them.